This week, Thon announced its last canning weekend will be canceled. Um, canning itself has long been a tradition in our community, and it's a way we've been fundraising for many, many years. According to the Thon Executive Committee, the decision to cancel the past two Thon canning weekends not only had to deal with safety regulation, but also due to a high number of claims regarding forced fundraising. You know, we don't want people to ever feel like they're being pressured to go, they're being pressured to send a thumb vote, being pressured to fundraise. So how do we make sure that people are doing this because they want to be able to do this um, and making this such a positive experience for them? Students have also noticed the stiff competition amongst organizations. Because I'm in a Greek life organization, we're competitive among other Greek life organizations to like try to raise the most money among us. I think it does help motivate to an extent, but I wish it was a little different. With two of the three canning weekends canceled this year, a number of volunteers have raised concern regarding the financial total. We measure success in a variety of ways, and I like to believe that Thon's impact goes far beyond, you know, that total raised. Um, Thon's impact is in, you know, the smile of a child. You know, Thon's impact is in the relief of a parent. Thon's impact is when a family forgets Thon weekend that they might have a cancer treatment that following Wednesday, and, you know, that's really what Thon is about. Reporting at University Park, I'm Lauren Doyle for the Center County Report.